sideways. No, bishops only go diagonal. So I'm going to take out that guy. Okay. See, now what I thought you were going for was for a, a, what we call a, a queen queen trade, which is where you would have taken my queen, and then I would have taken yours, but I'm just going to take yours outright. All right, that's fair. <laughs> I left. Luigi was hanging out to dry. Yeah. And I left him there, That's and that's my fault. Never leave your queen out to dry. That's right. Toad! Oh, Toad can't... No, Toad, no, Toad can do that. Toad's, Toad's back in business. There you go. There you go. All right. Yoshis. Yoshis. I have both of your Yoshis. See that? And I'll tell you the problem. I don't have any blue Yoshis. If I did, they could fly away. That's right. This is the nerdiest game of chess ever played. By far. Hands down. I mean, chess is nerdy to begin with. Yeah. I know. I, I was on the. I was actually on my high school chess team. Well, this is ridiculous. You were on the. <laughs> you were on the chess team. <laughs> yeah, just for, was, just for three years. <laughs> Brings on the chess team. I'm getting sharked. <laughs> but for all it does well, and for as much fun as it is to play the classic game of chess with Mario characters, uh, the game does make a few missteps. Uh, for example, uh, if you look at Bowser's pieces, um, he's got, you know, all the, all the characters you would expect. He's got the Goomba, uh, the pawns are actually Koopa shells. He's got the Magic Koopa, which is a great addition. Uh, Bowser Jr., which is just awesome. But his knights are Birdo. Now, it's not that I got a problem with Birdo, but here's the thing. Birdo, and I don't want to get too nerdy on you guys, but I have a feeling you won't mind. Uh, Birdo wasn't technically a part of Bowser's army in the first place. And, going back even further, if you read the actual instruction manual from the NES game Super Mario Brothers, it explicitly states that the Hammer Brother is the mightiest warrior in Bowser's army. So where the hell is he, is my question. Uh, I, I, you know, you would think if he's the mightiest warrior, he'd be in the mightiest game of all time, arguably, that is chess. So, uh, Birdo, not, not real crazy about the inclusion of Birdo. And one issue on the Mario side of things is that, uh, you might expect Princess Peach to be Mario's queen. Uh, that's actually not the case. Mario's queen is actually Luigi. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know if you can get in on that, but it says queen underneath Luigi. So as you might have noticed from Ray dominating me at chess, I'm not exactly the greatest chess player in the world. It's been a while, admittedly. Uh, but uh, the bottom line is, Super Mario Chess is still a lot of fun. Uh, I found it, like I said, for $49.99 at a local hobby store. Um, and you get a lot of things with it. You get the great uh, tin case. One of the, the, the things that I would have liked to have seen uh, is instead of this sort of cardboard uh, board, this cardboard game board that you fold up, uh, it actually folds up in four pieces, so that feels kind of flimsy uh, relative to the $50 you're spending on the package. It would have been nice to have like a wooden board, but that's sort of nitpicking. You get a great set of functional chess that plays well. All the characters are labeled so you know whether they're pawns or rooks or bishops. Uh, and it's a great way, especially for young kids, to learn about a thinking person's game, something I'm obviously not very good at, uh, in chess. And uh, I, I don't know, I kind of find it ironic though that a video game character, uh, arguably one of the biggest of all time, would help kids get away from video games for a little while. It should be a lyric in an Alanis Morissette song or something. Super Mario Chess.